Debian Coding for Human Rights talk. Uh, Rafael Rivas will be pre presenting. Uh, the co-presenter, Astrid Valencia, couldn't make it. The talk is probably going to be uh, a half an hour instead of 45 minutes. Um, but uh, yeah, welcome, and I'm going to turn it over to Rafael. OK, thank you. Uh, hi. Uh, this is our presentation. I try to make shorter for the, uh, another nature reasons. But uh, basically, it's a presentation of our research that I make about the knowledge of the people working at the project and how they can help or if they are aware. OK, sorry. So if they are aware of the the work that they do is helping in human rights fight. Uh, well, you know a lot of coding. But how is the connection between human rights and free software? Uh, which, what part is he, it's taking in the political struggle around the world? Okay, uh, I'm not starting with human, uh, with free software uh, concept because we already know it. But uh, about human rights, human rights are political norms dealing with mainly with how people should be treated by their governments and institutions. Uh, we have many examples about governments who treat let's say not uh, the best way to the citizens and how they stop them to have the access to the information uh, is a is a problem in some places let's have an example uh, a minute ago somebody told me that there is there's maybe an idea to import the package to Debian that might help the people in China to to cross the firewall they have to access the information that would that could make that Debian will be banned from China. Uh, I think the the last talk was about Freedom Box. We have an example with Freedom Box that is a project that that is helping the institution NGOs that could help people to not be pursued but by doing his work in try to defend their human rights to access to information. Well, this is a part that I think I already said that how this uh, does it relates to Debian. Uh, many older people have a right from education, access to information, freedom of speech, and lately the human rights is talking about the freedom of knowledge that we already enjoy that liberty. Uh, basically what we want to do is uh, to let them, the developers know what are they doing uh, with this effort and doing in a way of the, uh, sorry, uh, for the people of, uh, for the majority of lawyers they actually claim that the people has the power to use, claim, demand for it, or enjoy it, the freedom that they have. But in some places, like here we can say, it's like a bunch of pretty words put in paper. <laughs> when the, well, we have another couple of words that can help the social change that uh, some citizens want the social struggle that some countries are in the middle of. Let's take an example of China again. Uh, the political change they need and the legal change they need for all the information they have access and they can say what they think about their governments, the situation, and what they need to live as free as they want. And where goes Debian? <laughs> uh, it's quite hard to understand that information has to do with something about human rights, but actually they do. Uh, like I said a moment ago, we have the Freedom Box project, we have Tor project. There is another project, I, I just missed the name, that helps to uh, ONGs, people who has uh, arrested or they are being followed by by the way they express about the governments 
help them to know what they are doing. We have a, an, I don't know if it's a, a good example for Merosei, but Twitter, what we saw in Egypt that they even use phone lines to get connected and say, well, this is the situation, we are being treated like that, please, something, somebody do that. Somebody do something, please. Uh, that's our, our examples that we can take about the inform uh, technology helping to human rights. That's the other part, that if you are aware of it, if you are helping to, con to build some information society, a uh, s uh, society of freedom, and what can you do in terms of your work to help these people? Uh, I don't know if many of the developers know that what they do is actually helping and if that is a more to them to say, okay, I'm doing something right, I want to make it better. I want to make something else. What can I do? What we want to do? We want to try to, well, not try. We want to make an essay about the knowledge of the people by interview developers, by talking with uh, project leader and with all the people that do something that can help to our research. Uh, we can, we actually will start to stalk them by emails, maybe phone calls, I don't know, around DevConf, but we want to know if the volunteers want to help us with that because uh, we have to do something besides what we are doing now. Uh, this is our main goal with this investigation. We are trying to make uh, the better we can. And we expect that all the guys and we, uh, the men's and women that are involved in this project and another projects, if that's possible, could help us to reach that, to, to help the people who is not uh, aware of, your, of the big work they are doing with free software, uh, they know that, they know already. We want to make this to promote that discussion inside the project, to see, systemize the impact of the work in the human field, uh, the human rights field, and I don't know, I don't know if the, the sentence would be okay, but make Devin more human more close to the fights of the humans and a better project. Well, I already said that. I forget to put, uh, stock them, but uh, basically is, is that. Uh, I think that's the best moment for questions. I try to answer the best because I'm, I'm not the original speaker, but I'll try to to answer in the way you want. You deserve, sorry. No? Uh, if you're making a paper or a presentation, where do you plan to present it? Or is it to be presented within Debian or? Um, the research will be sent uh, to the DPL to for him to send about Debian Press or Debian Announce to all the people in the project know it. Maybe we can uh, show the results also in DevCon 12, just in case it will be long, take longer because we have to, we have think to send it uh, by October, I think. But if we have a lot of support of the community, we can, it, it could take longer. No questions? No? Okay. Other questions? Comments? You are um, mentioning all the tools and how we can actually help uh, human rights, but uh, it's not quite clear to me uh, which tools and what you want to do with them. Do you want us to make like a uh, 
on Debian blend for uh, for human rights organizations? Do you want us to make Tor easier to use? Do you want us to send uh, encrypted uh, phone software to China? There is so many different things we could do. Uh, yes. Um, basically, all of them. We yes, we want to know actually if you are uh, if the people in the project are aware of that that they are doing software that can that is actually helping people. Uh, it's not exactly that we need that you do something, uh, made some change in your work. Is if you uh, if to make you know that your work is doing this. I don't know if that answers your question. Um, I have a couple examples more or less related to this. Uh, one is, for instance, in France, we have set up some uh, internet access to the uh, Egypt Egyptian people when they uh, had troubles with their revolution. And for this, you need tools that can actually provide the good old RTC uh, internet connection. Um, so the other example is, um, so I run the um, uh, accessibility team with uh, Mario Long, and it's, uh, we don't realize when we're not faced with the problem, but for instance, deaf people, uh, people who cannot hear, um, make a huge uh, use of IOC, because on IOC they are not deaf anymore. Yeah. It's a small detail, but that tool helps them a lot to integrate into the society, etc. And for blind people, the uh, same idea is uh, with a Debian installer CD, you can reinstall your machine from scratch. You don't have to ask somebody to, uh, to install Windows or whatever uh, for you, etc. So it's just a few examples. Yeah. Hi. You um, want to see whether Debian developers are aware that their software um, can help human rights. Uh, after meeting so many people here at DebConf, um, I may believe that it's the other way around. I've met many uh, interesting individuals who, um, are, um, who work for um, human rights groups or NGOs or are otherwise involved um, to make the world a better place, not only by helping Debian. Yeah. And because they um, think like that, they are also involved in Debian. And I would be very interested to um, see interviews with uh, those people uh, um, or to um, have a research what's um, the um, middle political view of uh, Debian or something like that, because in other communities I've read, well, we are software developers and um, we have all, um, all kinds, but this may not be true for Debian, or Debian may tend to one direction. Yeah, that's, that's part of the investigation. Usually, uh, people whose uh, human rights um, uh, are not respected are the ones uh, who do not have access to a computer. Uh, how do you think we can help them? That's part of the research because we want to see if we can find some uh, project that could help that. Because uh, there, is a pro uh, there is another project that helps with Windows tools to encrypt, to maintain secure communication, but uh, would be a nice uh, part, result, I mean, uh, that we can get a project to help them to install free software with security, with all the tools they might need to, to cover them by the, oh, sorry. to the persecution they have in using free software. I, I was uh, talking about people who uh, can't access a computer. Uh, oh. Uh, either because they are. Uh, I don't know if we can be able to reach that point. But. Oh, I, 
uh, actually, well, I came up with an, with an answer of my own. <laughs> um, probably uh, by helping NGOs uh, and writing software for um, uh, uh, people who are non not technical but um, spend their time helping uh, yes. defend human rights. Yes. Uh, may maybe we can. Um. Can I answer to this? Uh, I think if, 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 you, if, you, if you change a society, if you change a mind and a way of thinking, if you change a politics, uh, you help every people, doesn't matter they they use computer or not, because it's, it's important the governments or people have to decide about something, they use computers. So if you change that uh, people uh, care more about freedom, you, ch you help uh, everywhere. But I, uh, about that, I think we should try to help them with another front, maybe on, on places that they don't have that liberty yet. Uh, that's for example. One thought that uh, occurred to me was one project that Marco Benjamin Marco Hill has been uh, working on. And uh, have you heard about the Behind Bars uh, project, which is basically uh, website and a uh, set of volunteers uh, accepting letters on paper from people in the prisons in the United States and publishing their work and uh, uh, also getting it transcribed to make it visible on, on search engines. I suspect uh, you could do similar things for those behind bars uh, for uh, well, whatever they find out to uh, put them behind bars in countries violating human rights and making their voices heard as well. Uh, providing the tools to to publish things on the web, making those kind of sites and using, I don't know, OCR on handwritten notes or whatever. I'm sure there is some tools we can make to make it easier to make that kind of sites work all over the world. Okay. You are or your presentation was very optimistic that um, providing software is a good thing and will help people. I will give one example from my own experience where I decided I don't want to do this anymore. I've been working on packaging the Apache Hadoop project and um, this is a solution to work on very big databases and it's used by social networking sites, by search engines, but also um, by a project f f by, from the European Union called INDECT, um, which tries to combine many, many sources of surveillance of um, citizens of the European Union uh, and to um, analyze this data and to learn to know more about the behavior of citizens and I, I feel bad when I see that the software where I invest my time can be misused in these ways and this is a conflict where I don't know what to do. Okay. For example, there is this uh, license from Crockford who says in his, uh, in his license header this software should be used for good, not for evil, but we also <laughs> know, already know that this is a non-free license and we couldn't <laughs> include it in Debian and it's stupid to do so. But we can't solve this problem, I think, but n contributing to software is not always a good thing. I don't know. Yeah, uh, I think that would be the bad part if you want to say it or, or making free software but because they can use for everything like your the example that you put on your your program but uh, we're trying to see if we can do something about that i mean that's the only we can do it, it, it's risky to go down that path but i'll try just a little bit of saying human rights as i understand it at least is not about opposing something on others. It's about uh, demanding something for each individual. So free software is about having the rights to do things. It's not about saying to others that they don't have rights. So actually, as I see it, 
I find it very good that Debian is allowed to be used for nuclear power plants and for nuclear weapons. I don't want nuclear weapons, I don't want nuclear power plants, but that is outside the scope of human rights, of freedoms. That is a, lit a different, completely different political project than preserving, protecting, fighting for human rights as I see it. You know, human rights, um, there are many of them. Uh, there is a right to, to, uh, to, uh, uh, to enough income to survive, blah, blah, blah. And uh, you, you can frame uh, uh, nuclear power plants in this kind of, uh, uh, in this kind of direction. So um, I wouldn't quite uh, declared uh, them completely uh, independent. Um, you know. But that's just a side remark. Oh. Hi. Uh, I think it would be good to connect, uh, to make an effort and connect with the NGOs because in Bosnia uh, I have many friends who are uh, part of NGOs and then we have people who are donating their computers to the troubled uh, minorities. And uh, these computers come, of course, with a copy of Windows of them. Yeah. Uh, and if we had a group of volunteers that would... Um, make an effort and install Debian for these computers, I think that would be great. And each of us can make a contribution in their local communities. Yes, that's, that would be a, a nice idea because uh, the fact that they give computers doesn't mean they, they can use them or for the purpose they want. But if the local, team, uh, the local communities can do that, that would be really nice. Yes, uh, because most of these kids, I mean, yeah, it's actually teenagers mostly, they don't even know what Debian is. They don't know what a choice is, so. Yeah, that's the part of the, the local communities can, can help the effort to help these people. So. Okay, uh, other questions or comments? Okay. Thank you, Raphael. Okay. Thanks for coming. Thanks.